Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go over Luna Classic. All right, you guys. So Luna Classic right now is trading at 000302. 24-hour volume, we are up 57%. And market cap, we are 9% up. So we're going to take a look at the chart on our daily chart and then immediate short term for two hours. Take a look at where price may retrace to. And the reason why I say price is going to retrace to is because we are hitting a resistance line here. So on our daily chart here we can see a few candlesticks around this range that was rejected down not only that but we are near our 20 moving average and moving averages are treated as resistance and support is one of their characteristics so as we can see the body itself so far today is crossing over our 20 moving average as we can also observe is our rsi is considered to be overbought here and as we can see it's at 81 percent here as soon as we see the crossover of these two lines the price is going to come back down and as i zoom in we can see that they are pinching in together so we need to evaluate this here and take a look at tomorrow to see if it is going to cross over on a daily average to see what the retracement levels are going to look like but as a safety measure here for you i do have our fib chart to see what the retracement levels and support areas just in case that the price is going to come back down. As we can see, it is, you know, just this little peak here and we are above the 80%. So let's go back to the chart. And as we can see on the chart here, we can see here these two candlesticks and actually four candlesticks here, five, five candlesticks coming down to the level between 23% and our 38% of our FIM at 26309. So 206309 around this area was a really good area of support. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six areas of these candlesticks coming back down. So again, if we do see that surge of the price being overbought and giving us that selling um, opportunity or that selling signal, then we can rely back down here and retest this area of support at the 26414, so roughly around that range there. And as again, we can observe on our volume profile, it is on the outskirts of our supply and demand zone, which again is treated as an area of support, depending if the price is above it, or an area of resistance, again, depending if the price is below it. Now, what we are going to see too is going to take a look at our two hour immediate short term. Now, this here, we do wanna monitor for the next couple of hours, and I'll show you the things that you do need to be taking a look at and consider as well. So I'm gonna open up the chart and a few indicators here is showing us really good retracements at our first support at 50% at the 29466. A few of our candlesticks here on September 26, which was the Sunday, a few of the candlestick wicks were able to retrace down here and hold the support very nicely. Not only that, but a few hours earlier, we saw good support at this area as well. So it's only going to be a matter of fact that we are going to retest this area of support later on today or sooner than we thought. As we can see with the RSI here, we can see the small little pinch. And normally if the white line is observed on the right side of the... Um, of the pink line is our selling opportunity. So again, um, it is coming back down. It does look like it's coming back down, but if you did take a look at that quick second, it flipped back over. So we have to wait at least two candlesticks or at least four hours to see the reaction of these lines, if it is going to show us a buying opportunity or if the RSI itself is still going to come back down and our retracement level is going to be at this 50% range. If we are going to be breaking through this area of support, here is our next range as well at 38% of our FIB at the 28631. So that's going to be roughly around that, um, that dollar amount. Okay, um, so again, we are going to be taking a look at the possibilities if price were to move up because like I said, we have to evaluate in the next couple of hours to see if it is going to trigger a buying opportunity. And if we take a look here, this is essentially where the price is going to go. If we see momentum increase, most importantly, the RSI shows us a buying opportunity. As we can see our MACD indicator is showing us lightness and color, meaning that the momentum may soon be over. But we never know, there might be an expansion. If there is an expansion of our MACD indicator, here's our next target for the price is going to come up and retest this area of resistance here at 
31489. Immediate resistance line is these candlesticks right here that we have tested in the last three times. So we've got one, two, and three candlesticks trying to break through this barrier of resistance at three. 30885. So those are my targets for Terra Classic. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you enjoyed the insights that I have on this video, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel as well, but I'll see you next time.